The Joyce Bay sewerage facility was built at the cost of 300 million kina through a funding from the Japanese government and built to world-class standard. However, it is not serving its purpose. Only 30% of the NCD population is using this facility. They should invest in the Joyce Bay project so that uh, um, it connects the entire city to that uh, you know, you know, world-class facility. And, and so that we improve the um, sewage system in the city, but also in terms of sewage, a plan with us so that we expand the uh, system into all the settlements uh, now that we are doing the settlement upgrading, and also the villages, the villages nearby. Not, uh, Vavkoro is not even connected then. Vavkoro is probably just a stone throw away from that uh, world-class facility. Pakop says NCDC is building the city, visualizing a city of 2 million people in the next 10 years, and says Edaranu must think along these lines. So we need Edaranu to, to be proactive, to plan in advance, to visualize a city that is going to be maybe in 10 years' time population of 2 million. Yeah. We in NCDC, we are planning for that eventuality, that maybe in 10 years' time, or 20 years time, we might be 2 million. Mm. And that's why we are investing in all the roads and all the municipal services, improving uh, everything. He says the city is expanding, but most SOEs are not facilitating this growth. And with plans to merge Ada Ranu and Water PNG, he fears more problems could be created. Uh, Ada Ranu is supposed to focus on the city and, and make profit and at the same time provide services that is sufficient for the city, we are amalgamating with the uh, um, PNG, which is not a, doesn't have a very good record. Uh, like, uh, for example, the town of uh, Goroka has no adequate uh, water system and sewage system. He says water and power still remain a critical issue in the city and is something the government should look into. Ruth Rungula, National MTV News.